So making these candy corns with the 22 pin circular knitting machine is quite easy to do. It takes me about 10 minutes. I also have a smaller version here and I'm going to show you how to do the bigger version first. And at the very end, I will leave instructions to how to do the miniature candy corn if you prefer the smaller look. I have the Addy 22 pin. You can see here it's yellow, orange, and white yarn. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I'm going to cast on using the white yarn first and get to your first pin between the white and the black and cast on. Now the trick with the 22 pin is you really need to be really loose for casting on because for some reason the first three rows get stuck real easy. So just do a real loose tension and go ahead and do five rows. Go ahead and cut when you get five. Grab your orange yarn next. Feed it to the yarn holder. Place it under the black pin and you're going to do six rows of orange. Loosely tie it here and you'll tighten it after you take your project off the machine. Subscribe for more videos like this. Cut your yarn, add your yellow yarn next. Also the orange yarn off, keeping it under the last white pin, adding the yellow, making sure it sits underneath that black pin here. Now you'll do 12 rows using the yellow yarn. What do you call candy corn with a positive attitude? Can do corn. <laughs> When you get to the end of the 12th row, cut your yarn, grab your orange yarn again. Place the orange yarn under the yarn holder and crank out six more rows of orange. What does candy corn call its dad? Popcorn. Cut your yarn, find your white yarn, add it to the yarn holder, and do five rows of white. Hope this isn't too corny. Now cut off a little bit longer, maybe about six inches. Thread the yarn with your darning needle. Cast off. Go ahead and wind around a couple times a little bit and start casting off by grabbing your loops with your yarn and darning needle. Candy corn was originally called chicken feed. Candy corn has its own national day, October 30th. How do you eat candy corn? Whole piece, color by color, none at all. Once you've done that, move your machine to the side. Go ahead and close both ends of your tube just by cinching it tight running your needle around a couple times and then tying it off and then I'll show you what you do with the other end here. Before you tie off the other end, go ahead and turn it inside out. You'll need to go ahead and tie these tight so that you don't see the transition lines between the two colors. Make sure you do that for each of the color changes that you went ahead and did. Go ahead and turn your project back right side out and grab the end that you just cinched tight, pull that yarn end through into the middle, so it's sticking out the other side. Find your other yarn end, go ahead and tighten that up and use your darning needle to cinch that up tight as well. Once you've done that, grab the other yarn end that, that you had drawn up from the middle and kind of like when you do a beanie, draw it up inside. And I like to tie these two ends together to make sure they're secure. We have so far what it should look like. I like to turn it inside out so the knot's on the inside. And now what you'll do is, I like to trim these ends, take them out, and grab some of your polyfill, whatever kind of stuffing you prefer, whether it's polyfill, cotton, scrap yarn, cut up old pieces of cloth, whatever you prefer. Now I'll grab a length of yellow yarn, about eight inches. Grab your darning needle, thread the yarn through your darning needle. Go ahead and grab your piece. We're just gonna do a drawstring first where we can go through and tighten the top a little bit, but not entirely. We're just gonna cinch it a little bit. So I'm just kind of going through the top layer here to get it cinched eventually. I'm just gonna cinch it down a little bit, but not too much here. So go ahead and tight end there, tie that together in a knot. So this is what it looks like for it to be partially cinched. As you can see, it's not all the way closed partly, so just fold when it looks the shape that you like, fold it in half here. You're going to start grabbing two on one side and two on the other side to start seaming it together. And you're going to just continue doing that back and forth until it's the shape that you like. Grab two loops and two more loops on the other side to start creating a, the bottom piece here and to close it up so the stuffing doesn't fall through. Go ahead and tie off the end there, however you like, and then draw the end into the candy corn to hide it. You can either cut it or shove it inside, whichever you prefer. And there's your candy corn. To tighten the top. The next project you should probably make is the pumpkin, and I will show you how to do the pumpkin here next. 